welcome friends to this session in this session we'll be discussing about the features of c programming language so let us start the session with the presentation c programming language is a very popular programming language and even after about 50 years you will find that still it is widely used in many applications in this session we will understand what is a c programming language and how to develop uh, programs in c programming language and we will understand how these programs can be executed so you are observing this uh, session on my youtube channel learn with prakash khanade so let us initially begin with what we mean by a c programming language c programming language is a high level programming language you will find that uh, when we talk with each other as a human beings then the language that is being used by us so for example when i am giving this presentation to you i am making use of english language so the languages like english language marathi language these languages are called as the natural languages so people use natural languages to get communicated with each other but when you want to get communicated with a computer system then you will find that these natural languages are of no use because your natural language is will not be understood by your digital computer machines and therefore you will find that we need to use some special languages and these languages are called as the high level programming languages computers are the digital electronic machines and these digital electronic machines basically understand only one language and that is being called as a binary language but binary language is very difficult to write or very difficult to communicate because binary lang in binary language everything is written in the form of zeros and ones and therefore this language is being called as a low level language so low level language is not a convenient way to get communicated with the computer system and therefore a uh, bit high level languages the languages which are similar to english like languages were developed and c language is one of such high level language through which you can get communicated with computer system c language is a general purpose language it means that we can use this language for development of the software that can be used in any domain for example we can develop a operating system program by using this language we can develop a database management system by using this language we can develop any specific application such as a reservation system by using the c programming language so this is a very general purpose language and it is not designed for only some specific tasks c language is a procedure oriented programming language you will find that most of the c programs are collection of procedures or collection of functions in c programming normally what is being done is that a big task is being divided into small sections and for each section we can develop a function or procedure and therefore we can say that the c language is a procedure oriented programming language earlier to the c there was a language called as b basic compound programming language and c is a successor of b and that is the reason the name c is being given to this language you will find that the c language was developed by the dennis ritchie 
in the Bell Laboratories in 1972. So you can say that about 50 years back, this language was developed, but still it is very popular. And if you check the ranking of this language, then you will find that many times this language is ranked as number one programming language. So still it is very widely used. There are many commercial applications that makes the use of the C language. Now let us understand some features of the C programming language. C programming language is a structured programming language, means it has definite structure. That is whatever the constructs or features of C are there, every construct has a fixed definite pattern. So for example, we have some control structure in C, such as if then. Now, how it is being executed? Initially, we will test a condition as shown in this diagram. And if the condition is true, then one part of the statement is executed. And if the condition is false, then the another part of the statement is executed. And in both the case, the control of execution will go to the next part of the program. So when every construct has a definite structure, then you will find that it will improve the clarity and the quality of the programs. So the program quality in C is much higher. C is a strongly typed language. It means that the data type that is being used in the C language is a predefined and it is a part of the programming language itself. Also, you will find that the number of variables that we need to use within a program that must be described along with their data types so that the compiler will know in advance what are the variable and what are their corresponding data types. You will find that in C, uh, many low level activities can also be executed. For example, in C language, there are bitwise operators. And by using these bitwise operators, it is possible to manipulate the data that is stored in the memory in the bit form, in the zero or one form. Therefore, we can say that many times people say that the C language is a kind of a middle level language because in C language, it is possible to perform low level activities as well as high level activities. C language is easy to learn. You will find that all the features associated with the language can be easily learned because when you want to learn a programming language, basically what you do is that you learn the syntax and semantics of the language. Syntax that will stand for the grammatical rules or how to write the different constructs of the language. And semantic that will stand for the meaning of these different constructs. You will find that it is being said that C generates very efficient code. That is the compile time required for the any C code is much smaller than that of the other programming languages. As shown in the diagram, you will find that the compile energy or the compile time required for the C programs is smaller among the all other high level languages. So we can say that the code generation in the C language is very efficient. C language is machine independent language or platform independent language. It means that we can use the C program on any platform, such as the C program can be executed on Linux platform. The C program can be executed on Windows platform, or the C program can be executed on Unix platform also. So without making any modification in the C program, it is possible to execute these C programs on any platform or on any machine having different hardware. C language can be said as an extensible language. You will find that C language has a rich set of library. There are large number of functions available and we can make the use of these functions while writing program in the language. 
but it is also possible that you can write your own programs or you can create your own functions and these functions can be added into the library of the C language and therefore the feature enhancement of the C language is possible. You will find that many commercial applications are being developed by using C language. Say for example, the Unix operating system or Linux operating system was written by using C language only. You will find that the popular database management system such as MySQL was also written by using C language only. Apart from this, you will find that commercially many software companies are developing many applications by using C language. Now let us understand what is the structure of the C program. Whenever you want to write a program in C language, then you will find that you need to obey certain structure. You will find that there are six sections in the C program structure. The first section is being called as a documentation section. In this documentation section, normally what we write is some comment. It is possible that you can write some comments in the C program. Say for example, if you want to mention who is the author of this program or what is the purpose of this program, then such comments can be easily added in the documentation section. The second section of the structure is the link section. You will find that many times we need to use some standard library functions within our program. These standard library functions are available in the form of header files. So whenever you use certain function, then the corresponding header file need to be included within your program. Say for example, if I want to use printf function within my main program, then I need to include the standard input output header file, stdio.h and this file uh, is to be included via the link section so that the compiler will link this file and your function will get executed. The third section is the definition section. It is possible that you can make the use of some user defined functions within your program. And if you are creating your own functions, then you need to define them before actually you are creating them. So to the compiler in the definition section, you declare what is the function name and what is its data type. Then we have a global declaration part. It is possible that uh, in C program, some variables are local variables that their scope and validity is within that part of the program. But there can be some variables of which the scope will exist throughout the entire program. In such a case, the global variables need to be declared in this global declaration section. You will find that this documentation section, link section, definition section and global declaration section, all these four are the optional sections. Your C program may contain it or may not contain it, but it is mandatory to have a main function within your C program. So this main function is written something like this, where the name of the function is main. It will have a certain data type and the code of the main function is enclosed within the curly brackets. You will find that whenever we write any statement in the C code, then that statement is terminated by a semicolon. So this function is a mandatory function. It is not possible to have a C program without any main function. And finally, if you are using some user defined functions, then these user defined functions need to be defined to the compiler. And therefore here we may give the code for these user defined functions. So this is the first uh, simple C program. As it is being popularly said, it is a hello world program. You will find that in the line number one, 
we have included a file stdio.h. As I said, this is our first program, and therefore we will include only a file. We will start with the link section. The comment section we have excluded, and the other parts of the C program structure have been also excluded. And only we are writing a main function. This file is needed to be included because, as I said, here we are making the use of this function print tag. And this function is defined within this header file, and therefore this file needs to be included within your program. This is a main function, and integer is the data type of the main function. The main function is enclosed within the curly brackets. Inside the main function, we have written only one simple statement, print tag, and uh, here what we are doing is that we are printing this word, hello world, and this statement is being terminated by a semicolon. This main function is of data type integer, and therefore it must get an integer value as a return value. Therefore, we are returning a zero as an integer value to the main function. So this is our uh, simple C++, a C program, and this C program can be easily executed by using some compiler available on your computer system. Now, if you are not having any C compiler with you, then you need not to worry. You will find that there are online compilers available nowadays. But for this, you require internet connectivity. Now, suppose this is one such uh, compiler, C compiler. And you will find that this is a window, and in this window, I can type the program. Now, uh, you need to type your program in this window. You can make any modification if you are not satisfied. And once you are happy with whatever is being typed, carefully, isn't it? Do not make any mistake while writing or typing this program. And then you can see the output of this program. So if I press this execute button, then you will find that the output will be displayed in this result window. You know, this is a simple program and where you will find that the output is the display of the word, hello world. So thank you friends for watching this presentation. Hopefully you have understood some features of C programming language. In the later sessions, we will discuss uh, uh, many more other capabilities of the C programming language. Thank you. Thank you for watching this presentation.